Discord has finally solved one of the biggest problems with their desktop client on Linux. And that is to do with screen sharing. If you don't know, when you try to screen share on Linux, it does not use your GPU with when it comes to encoding the video. If you don't know, on Windows, that has been a feature for quite a long time now. But on Linux, that hasn't been the case. There has been no uh, GPU acceleration whenever you try to screen share and when it comes to other applications like Vestop, Equibop, Goofcord, they have tried to fix this problem by um, introducing the Varpi encoder on Chromium uh, browsers because Chromium does support uh, the Varpi encoder so they tried to bring this feature over for uh, Linux users that are using an AMD GPU or maybe even an Intel GPU because Varpi does support um, Intel GPUs I'm pretty sure it was designed by Intel developers, but the problem was that there was a lot of video glitches and bugs when you tried to enable it in those uh, third-party Discord clients, and so the experience wasn't that great. So I was able to test out an early feature for AMD uh, GPU VARPI encoding on uh, Discord on the Linux uh, client. And as you can see here, there is a screenshot that I took of the debug when you do a screen share. And as you can see, the codec is H.264. But if you look closely at the encoder side, we can see AMD VARPI. So VARPI is being used on the GPU of, of my AMD GPU. And what does this really improve? You know, when you when you include GPU encoding for something like uh, OBS Studio, like what I'm doing right now, I'm encoding with Varpi. Well, the video quality for one increases. Uh, it, it solves a lot of issues when it comes to uh, the quality. Uh, of course, when you are playing games, that also gets greatly improved of the video quality because instead of using CPU encoding where um, it's going to be fighting to have a certain type of priority with the encoding, uh, it no longer has to fight for that because there's an actual individual um, you know, chip or whatever for encoding on the GPU itself. And then not just that, when it comes to the rest of just doing normal things on the desktop, or if you're doing something that is CPU intensive, that's no longer going to be a problem. And so the quality, the smoothness of the video is going to look extremely better. So the first thing uh, with this feature is that it is only going to be available for AMD GPUs currently. And the reason for that is because, well, one, VARPI is open source. So it's technically easier to implement uh, with the Discord developers working on it. But they are... The, did say that they are going to bring uh, NVENC support later down the line, uh, hopefully uh, by like the end of this year, but they also did say that their dates are not uh, accurate, so it may take longer for something like that to arrive. And if you are using a Intel GPU, uh, because VARPI is supported on Intel GPUs, that is also something that they are going to work on. Currently it is disabled, so it's only if you have an AMD GPU, you are gonna be able to get uh, GPU acceleration. And this is most important because um, of the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is running AMD hardware and uh, they wanted to work on getting uh, screen sharing to work properly with GameScope as well. Now, for right now, I'm unsure if Gamescope actually works properly with the Steam Deck with screen sharing on Discord. Uh, but for right now, when it comes to desktop um, encoding for screen sharing on the Discord on the Linux client, uh, it does seem to be working. So now I'm going to show up a comparison between software encoding and the VARPI AMD um, encoder on Discord with screen sharing.
So as you can see, the um, enhancement of the quality, the smoothness is really quite um, insane. And I feel like this feature should have came earlier, but uh, at least it's actually here now and it's way better than software encoding um, on Discord screen sharing on Linux. Uh, it's just, as you can see with the example that I've shown, the um, quality and the smoothness of the software encoder is really bad, especially when you're playing a video game, like I was playing the finals in that example. Uh, you can see how it's just um, stuttery. You can see the bit rate, the blockiness of it, uh, really bad while using Varpy. No problems. And the other thing that I noticed that was introduced is that you can now see your cursor on the screen share. As before, you couldn't see the cursor on the screen share. Uh, while using third-party Discord clients, you could. Um, so that's really good to see that you can actually see the cursor and you can see where the viewer is, you know, clicking and all that. Uh, it just makes things a lot more easier when it comes to like, if you want to explain something, and you're like, oh, go click here and they, they can't see your cursor. Well, now that's included. So when it comes to uh, this particular feature also, it, uh, Discord does the whole 50% rollout. So only 50% of Discord users are going to get this feature. Uh, so you may or may not see it when you try to screen share and you do the debug um, button thing. You may or may not be able to get it. And if you are using Flatpak Discord, that is also not going to work properly because uh, our Discord hasn't changed the permissions properly yet, uh, which they will do soon, supposedly, uh, to get VARPI encoding working within Flatpak. So that's the conclusion of this video. Uh, I really do appreciate uh, Discord uh, working on this feature uh, and some of the future things that they are going to do. And I also did um, send them some, some of the issues that are left with Discord um, on Linux, things like shortcuts, for example, on Wayland, uh, when it comes to the app running in X Wayland, like it's a mixture of X Wayland slash Wayland, um, just some of those issues that are left. Um, hopefully those things do get fixed. And that's something that Discord did say is they are trying uh, to improve it as much as possible. So hopefully um, that is the case and they continue to do that. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like, definitely subscribe to the channel and thank you to my supporters. I'll show a text across the screen. Thank you for money every single day of month. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.